Hey guys, guess what this is? You know what's happening at this very moment on TV right now? It's the General Assembly of Serbia. They need to elect the president of the parliament. The two main democratic parties, the left-leaning democratic party and the right-leaning democratic party of Serbia, were supposed to form a government. Unfortunately, So, feeling resentful, what does the Democratic Party of Serbia do? It decides to support the Vice President of the Serbian Radical Party. Yes, that Serbian Radical Party, whose president is currently in The Hague. They're going to support that the vice president to be the president of the parliament under some bullshit excuse how we need the president of the parliament failing to note the fact that they can have a president of the parliament if they vote for the candidate of the democratic party as well but because they didn't get a deal, they're going to vote for the Serbian Radical Party. I had a shitload of patience with the Democratic Party of Serbia. Their president, Vojislav Kostunica, was the one that beat Milosevic. And I considered him to be the best candidate ever at that time, even better than Zoran Djindjic. And then when the fallout came, I was like, okay, you know, they might have some legitimate criticism of the of the Zoran Djindjic's government and, 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 you know, the shady dealings, you know, things like that. And then when they won the election and formed a government with the support of Milosevic's party, I was like, okay, the Democratic Party, you know, could have been a bit too demanding, you know. They, they, they had some excuse to do what they did. And every time the people from the Liberal Democratic Party, the extreme left of Serbia, spat on Vojislav Kostunic, I was like, come on guys, you know, Yes, you guys are the liberals, but Serbia does need its its conservative side, you know, its its legitimate democratic conservative representatives, you know. Not everyone is into, you know, hippie free love and all that stuff. You know, in a normal country where you don't have the extreme nationalists like the radicals, you guys would be at each other's throats. But now, in this situation, please cool it down. Keep it down. Let's not antagonize the Democratic Party of Serbia. Let's, let's not, you know, rock the boat. And when I saw the results of the elections, I was like, yay! 
the Democratic Party, Democratic Party of Serbia and G17+, plus, my three most favorite parties, will form a government. Excellent. And even when the Democratic Party, you know, which otherwise is does flawless politics in every sense of the world, at, at every point in time, they did the right move and what was good for Serbia. But then they started pushing Jelic to be the prime minister and I was like, you know, no one's going to support him. Why are you guys doing this? You know, give Kostunica his prime ministership. He supported Tadic to be the president of Serbia. I mean, without him, Tomislav Nikolic would be the president of Serbia today. You know, why are you guys doing this? Why are you being so difficult? And then when the Democratic Party dropped that, I was like, okay, finally, we're going to have a government. And today, I tune in to the first National Assembly in months. In fact, the first of Serbia as, uh, as an independent country, more or less, I think. Yeah, there, there might have been some, some stuff before, but the first after the new constitution, yeah. And what do I hear? The Democratic Party of Serbia wants to support the Serbian radicals for the presidency of the parliament, one of the three branches of government, the most important one. And it's one in the morning right now, something like that. My question is, I try not to worst, use curse words, but my question is, what the fuck? What the fuck are you guys doing? Are you mental? With so much shit going on, you even consider You dare consider this, knowing what he, what his party and Milosevic's party did in the 90s, and the role you guys played in taking him out. There's going to be new elections. I urge every single voter of the Democratic Party of Serbia to abandon the Democratic Party of Serbia and vote for the Democratic Party. It's that simple. It's the 11th hour. If radicals take control of the country, we are fucked. Don't let this happen. Talking to you. You know who I'm talking to. This is a very difficult situation and I'm really upset at what's happening. Serbia 